I'm just looking back on 2020 and although it was one of the most challenging years um, for me personally, for the world, for, for a lot of you I'm sure, it was also a time for unprecedented growth, both from a business standpoint, a personal standpoint, um, and from a lot of other perspectives as well. And I think reflecting on a year is always a powerful thing to do, especially after you've had some good surfs. <laughs> we were lucky enough to escape Sydney before it got shut down, and um, we made it across to South Australia, which is obviously where I was born. And the first thing that we did was go straight into the desert to hunt some good waves, and it didn't disappoint. Well, that was an okay little fish. A um, few little rights, wind swept, at least the dolphins can say hello. Now we're just going to cruise on the beach for a bit. <laughs> Surfing in South Australia is interesting because you're often surfing alone or with <clears throat> one or two other people, particularly out in the desert. This trip was no different. I had a couple of sessions where I ended up being out there alone, but actually ended up feeling quite comfortable and really settling into it. I'm starting to get the call now, especially with this the finished van and the and the huge amount of freedom that something like this has to offer. I'm starting to get the call to go off grid more. Um, that's probably something I'll explore a lot more in the van series that we've, we've just released. But I think that <clears throat> being down here, especially at this time of year when it's not too cold, settling into this sort of natural isolation and the challenge of a raw wild ocean is pretty beautiful. There was one session that my brother and I got to have with one other friend out um, and we ended up just getting like these beautiful tubes and, and turn sections and the sun was out, the reef was showing, it was just stunning.
And then, of course, there's the slower pace stuff. Um, I think it's it's always fun to to get on those longer boards. Like, um, you know, longboarding is obviously something that I've more recently got into, and I'm still definitely trying to work on it before I start teaching it um, on the channel. Overall, though, it's been a really beautiful experience. Pulling out the longboard, slowing everything down. You know, it's a totally different pace pulling out the longboard. Um, and I ended up having like a pretty fun session. Uh, I just took the GoPro out and um, yeah, pretty much had it all to myself and, and had a beautiful time. Moving forward, um, with all this uncertainty in Australia, particularly, I've got all these retreats booked and planned, and it's like, it's almost like 2021 has to be, um, it's almost being forced to be a year of being in the moment <clears throat> and going with the flow to an extent. Um, that's hard to do as someone who's running a business, it's hard to do. Um, it's just in general but I think if that's something that we can take away from the current situation then then there are going to be some positives that do come out of it for me I'm looking forward to soaking up this van and and sharing this van life with you all obviously we've got a lot of um, surfing content coming your way <clears throat> we've also got a lot more van life content coming your way as a part of the van conversion my new series documenting the entire van build and also um, this van itself is going to you know be a, a cameo in a lot of the videos like this um, we're gonna see a lot more vlogs this year where we we showcase van life and surfing together and of course you'll get those tutorials as well I'm finally hitting a place where I can actually um, develop a bit of a schedule uh, around shooting as opposed to doing all this ad hoc kind of stuff anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video I look forward to catching up with you guys again soon so much more coming your way and I really appreciate you being here